Hey, everybody. Hope you are doing well. We are continuing our coverage in the Brian Koberger case. This time, <clears throat> there was uh, a really cool Instagram post by Kaylee Gonsalves' sister that actually revealed some of her diary. I want to share it with you. But first, let me read you the caption of this Instagram uh, post. It says, happy birthday, sissy. I love you so much. I wish I could feel one more hug, one more smile. Hear one more. I love you. You deserved your life more than anyone I know. You worked so hard for everything you had, and you loved your life. You appreciated all the little things, and that's a big deal. So many people are so blessed, and they don't appreciate it, but that was never you. You appreciated it all. Learning to live without you is the hardest thing I've ever had to do, something I should have never had to do. You should be here with Maddie, Zana, and Ethan in your home getting ready to celebrate your 22nd birthday. I love you more than words could ever describe, Kaylee. I can't wait until Phoebe is old enough so I can tell her all about you and how much you loved her. You were so special, Kaylee. So strong, so determined, so passionate, so beautiful. Meeting you again is something that never leaves my head. There is so much I have to tell you, so much I need to ask you. Seeing your smile again, hearing your laugh, it keeps me going each and every day. I know we will meet again, but we should never have had to part like this. I keep positive because I know that's all you would want. I love you, Kaylee, and I wish you could see the party Maddie is throwing for you right about now. I hope it's the most beautiful birthday you've ever had. Help us celebrate Kaylee today by doing something you love. P.S. You got TikTok famous, sissy. Um, so, ah, uh, man. And Bethany Funk commented on it and said, this is uh, beautiful. She would be so proud of you. Um, the world won't be the same without her. Sending so much love and prayers. Wow. Yeah. Here's what she wrote in her journal, which I love reading this. It warms uh, my heart. Golly, it really warmed my heart for me to read some of the things um, that she wrote. She said, things I value, God, my family, mom, dad, Stephen, Olivia, Autumn, Aubrey, Nana, Grandma, Aunt Tammy, Uncle, Chris, Sabrina, Bryce, Phoebe, Dahlia, Fox, my friends, Maddie, Zana, Dylan, Bethany, Josie, Laura, Zoe, Nat, Ash, Nat, Riley, Bailey, Daisy, Chloe, B, Sailor, Kayla, Katie, Phoebe, Erica, Sophia, Ruby, Ashlyn, Kendra, Haley, Jaden, Emma, and then she put Jack, Double Heart, Murphy, obviously we know who Jack and Murphy is, my job, my health, my space, room, and the upstairs, and the alone time. She said my future, my looks, my social life, uh, and then she says, First, my goals. The most important thing for me to realize is that I'm setting these goals as a change. So no set end date. I love this so much. Uh, one, build my relationship with God through podcasts, Bible studies, journaling, church, TikToks, prayer walk, prayer, worship, the first hour with God every day morning. I love this so much. It just warms my heart um, to see that she had this desire. All of us have that desire actually deep inside of us to have this deep relationship with God. And when she's sort of, she's in the middle of a transition, right? She's, she's leaving college and starting a career. And she's like, what do I want my life to be like? And she put number one, I want my life to be built on a relationship with God. Friends, if you're watching right now, if there's anything, I would encourage you to do based on this testimony that we're seeing from Kaylee, Kaylee Gonzalez is the number one best thing any of us could ever do is to build the relationship with God. If there's anything that I think um, is going to be the biggest legacy that she leaves is that. And I actually want to have, um, you know, some, some conversation around that a little bit because it, I think it's so important. And so I, 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 I want to continue to investigate this part of it. But so number one, build my relationship with God. Number two, eat whole foods only like veggies, fruits, proteins, grains. I love that. Number three, focus on my relationships. God, again, first family, friends, Jack, double heart. <laughs> I love that she does that too. 
Work out daily. Walk, gym, yoga, Pilates. Number five, take Murph on two walks a day. Number six, 25,000 steps a day, including walking with a treadmill. That's a lot of steps, boys and girls. Um, number seven, read daily. Uh, number eight, drink more water. And we can't see the rest, but you can see number 13, get TikTok famous. So when she said, P.S., you got TikTok famous, sissy, uh, you can read read that there. Get TikTok famous. Unbelievable. What an incredible uh, journal entry that she was able to give. And I'm so glad that Autumn shared that with us. Interesting that Bethany Funk um, commented on it, too. I thought that that was really powerful. And so uh, just as we're thinking about this family and how they're processing through this, I love that there's little like snippets into her mind, into her soul like that. It's unbelievable and powerful and incredible. And I just sense there's some of you guys watching right now. Uh, you're, you're hearing her say like, hey, the number one thing I want to do is build my relationship with God. I feel like there's some of you guys that are watching right now that are sort of in the same boat. You're like, how can I, what do I need to do to like rebuild my relationship with God? Right here, podcast, Bible study, journaling, church, TikToks, prayer walk, prayer worship, the first hour with God every morning. Like spending time with God is the best way for you to build your relationship with God. And if that's you, you're you're in the you're watching the video. I want you to put this in the comment section. You say, that's me. I want to rebuild my relationship with God. I'm going to pray for you. Uh, those of you that that really uh, desire that. So Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, I thank you for every single person that's watching this video right now that's wanting to rebuild their relationship with you. Lord, I pray that they'll begin to spend the first hour of every day with you, that they'll begin to go on prayer walks with you and have time of worship. They'll attend a church regularly. They'll dive into what it is that you're speaking to their heart. And I pray, Father, that every single person right now that's making a decision that they want to rebuild their relationship with you, I pray right now for the mighty power and hand of God to come upon them, that they will sense your supernatural presence rushing over them, and that they will be totally enveloped with your goodness and your mercy. And so I bless every single person watching right now with this desire in their heart and in their life. I bless them in Jesus' name. Amen. Guys, this is one of the most encouraging things I've seen about this entire case personally uh, as we've been covering it. And so when it sort of came across my desk, I'm like, golly, I, I, I need to make a video about that and encourage other people that are watching uh, with that as well. So thank you guys so much for taking a couple of minutes today to spend with me as we've unpacked uh, Kaylee Gonzalez's uh, journal entry and looked at her sister Autumn's Instagram post honoring her birthday. Unbelievable uh, and uh, really, 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 really encouraged by it. So, hey, thanks for watching. We'll be back very, very soon.